Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be hardtailing the sporty. Finally. Let's get started. Alright, so I just drained the oil from the oil tank. Now we're gonna remove the tank. All right, just got the old tank out. Now I'm gonna start unbolting the motor mounts. All right, here's the moment of truth. Gonna take the motor out and put it on the table. Just got the motor out. Next, gonna measure the frame and then uh, chop it pretty much. All right, we're gonna measure the upper backbone first. From here to here, 13 and three quarter. I'm just gonna mask it so when I cut it's straighter. So this is the line right here that I'm gonna cut. All right, now we're gonna measure the bottom. All right, for the bottom, we're gonna use a measuring tape and a square. And you're gonna measure it four inches. Just to recap, the top is gonna to be 13 and three quarter inches. The bottom from here to here is four inches. So we're gonna go ahead and chop it. I'm gonna cut using this saw instead of an angle grinder is because this will produce less sparks. All right, just uh, chop the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna pull the whole rear section out. All 
All right, so the bite is pretty much cut in half. Take the tape off, clean it up, drill a couple holes. Same with the bottom. It's important that you guys don't just weld the hardtail right away. You want to use your motor as a jig. So what you want to do is you want to put the motor back into the frame and then bolt down all the stock motor mounts, but not fully tighten. All right, just bolted down the motor. Now I'm gonna slide the hardtail in. When you slide the hardtail in, you wanna do the top backbone first and then the lower rails. All right, once you torque down the uh, four socket bolts, you wanna raise the rear so that the engine cases are not touching the frame you can do this by uh, having a friend or if you work by yourself you want to slide the stock axle into the frame and jack it up pretty much that's what i'm gonna do all right once you uh bolt it down your motor you want to check for the right gap and then also check if your engine cases are touching the frame. In this case, mine's not touching. And you're pretty much uh, ready to weld. So I just welded as much as I can with the motor in. Now I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then take the motor out and then finish welding. All right, just got the motor out. Time to finish welding the rest of it. And we'll be done. All right, I just finished welding everything up. Now we're gonna put the motor back in. All right, just bolted the motor in. Now I'm gonna put the uh, back wheel on. 
All right, guys, the hardtail is done. I took out the other wheel because it belongs to Dennis. I'm gonna give it back to him. So I threw this one on for fun until my new wheel come. And this tank right here was supposed to go on the shovel, but it had some leaks. So I'm gonna sell it at the next swap meet. But yeah, the hardtail wasn't that bad from one to 10. I probably gave it a six, mainly because I had to take the uh, motor in and out multiple times by myself. But if you have a friend, I think it should be a lot easier. The instructions that TC Bros provided were pretty straightforward. Make sure you guys read it like 30 times to uh, get that shit in your head. But yeah, a few people asked me why I went with the uh, TC Bros hardtail instead of the lowbrow. It's because this down tube right here, I like the bend compared to uh, lowbrows. And also because I bought a bunch of parts from TC Bros. I'd rather have them uh, come in one package. That's uh, pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comment below, let me know. I'll try my best to answer. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.